the wave, which is a protest to get the government to act on climate change. We're here, we've got lots of the Quakers around us, including we've got the young Quaker group, um, we've got people coming from, we've had people come down from Yorkshire, people are from Devon, um, and everyone's come together because they want to make their voices heard, that they want the government to do something about climate change. I come from Leamington Spa in the Midlands, where I'm at university, um, on the train to Euston. All from North Shropshire today. How far have you all come today? Oh, I live in West London, so it wasn't very hard. Oh, that's lucky. Um, I have spent about two and a half hours on the train trying to get up here from Tunbridge Wells in Kent. Uh, I live quite near Oxford, so I got the train there, and Callum's calling me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great atmosphere here. I mean, everyone's really happy, just enjoying themselves. You can hear there's lots of noise going around, and drums, people have got whistles, we've got banners, we've got the Watford Quaker banner up there, and lots of people around us, and we're hoping it's just going to be a really great day we got sort of three or four hundred and about a hundred of them young Quakers which I'm really really pleased about and I, it wasn't actually that hard to, you know I didn't mobilize anyone I just told people a meeting point and mm -hmm. everyone's turned up it's really good to see everyone out. Um, I've done quite a lot of climate marches in the last year since joining uni um, a lot of them tend to be not necessarily marches as such but more creative things like climate camp oh, right. uh, more some of it quite direct action um, mm -hmm. But I went to the um, Put People th First March, uh, which was sort of Easter time last uh, this year, actually. Uh -huh. um, but the problem with that was there was three different causes, uh, whereas this is clearly climate, you know. Uh, it's a big, bold message, and we're all blue, pretty much. We want people <laughs> at the Copenhagen summit to take notice of what we're doing. OK. And um, what, what decisive action uh, do we want them to, to take? <laughs> I'm not sure. I want them. To, uh, I want. Yeah, I want them to try and like all agree to like cut down on, like 10 percent uh, by 2010. And what? And what sort of ways are we going to try try and cut down? I'm not sure. I think we need something like something big. It's like it's not going to be easy. We need something that like everybody has, has to like play their role and sort of like everyone like make a little difference and then we can do it. Well, I think they want action on climate change, real meaningful action, which we're just not getting at the moment. Yeah, and I, Yeah, I really hope this goes some way. Hopefully it can be uh, less ignored than uh, maybe some of the Iraq war demos were. Yeah. A lot more could be done than is already being done. Legislation could be passed. Um, for example, uh, there could be a lot more investment in public transport, in insulating houses, in growing food locally. Mm -hmm. It could hugely change people's lifestyles and reduce um, carbon emissions. Right, we are going to show another video, but just before I do that, I want to give a special um, thought to someone who's walking at the moment to Copenhagen. He's a good friend of mine, his name is Bush. He's walking from Copenhagen right now, he's on his 15th day. So if we could give a cheer from London to somewhere around kind of middle Europe to Push! Uh, we're here today, particularly as UNICEF, to raise awareness about um, climate change and the effect it will have on children in the developing world. Well, we want them to, to cut emissions and, and just to generally start the downward slope so that we can save our world so that the children have a better chance to live. to reduce emissions in line with what the science demands and that means at the very least 40% domestic emission cuts in the industrialised countries by 2020. It means lots of money on the table for developing countries to help them to adapt uh, and basically it means taking positive action and the good news is that lots of the things we have to do make our lives better as well like public transport, energy efficiency, all of that's great. Green jobs are at the heart of this.
Well, I just hope the politicians are listening because there are literally thousands of people from all around the country and they're here to demand urgent action from their government, from the political, political leaders as we run up to Copenhagen. And they just need to listen to what people are saying. It's not rocket science. We just need urgent action on climate change now.